sure you guys are aware, everyone is out of elastic and it doesn't look like it's coming back anytime soon. And I know we're all sick of sewing binding straps um, that are extremely long for these masks. I came up with a quick tip for you guys on how to avoid making binding. Um, it's using Grogain ribbon, which a lot of us have. If you're not familiar with that name, it's the kind with these little ridges in it. It's very strong. Um, but it does fray on the edges. So all you need to do is cut your ribbon. I like to cut it on an angle, but just cut it. And you can use a lighter a little more efficiently, um, but I have matches, so we're doing what we can with what we have. And then just hold it to the edge to burn your edges, to seal it in, blow your match out. And you have a nice um, no fray edge and then take that, run it through your mask. This mask was made using my tutorial. You can see it on my blog or on YouTube. Run it through. And now rather than um, an elastic mask, it'll obviously be ties. So just leave a string on either end and just do a little top stitch in here to hold this in place for while it's being washed. Um, but this is a really good option for if you guys are out of elastic but want to keep making masks. So you'll just make sure you burn all the edges of your ribbon. Thank you for watching! I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And just a quick reminder before I head out, make sure you check with your local hospital before you start making masks. They might offer supplies, specific instructions, or might not need donations at this time. Thank you so much for supporting the community and I hope you have a wonderful time sewing.